<laughs> yes, sir. I got it under control. This is why people need to be forced into veganism. Because everyone just acts like a stupid, ignorant, apathetic, greedy child. Hello and welcome to a new series with me, The Vegan Revolution, the top 10 best vegan YouTube moments of the week. Starting at number 10, what I eat in a day, everyone's favorite foul-mouthed, vegan goddess and yoga instructor mum, Banana Blondie 108. Ooh, look at my hair blowing. I look like a wind machine. Maybe we should do the whole video like this. I feel like Beyonce, except like a real vegan. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going guys? I just can't get that image out of my mind of uh, the other day when uh, Beaton Gaines put up the video with our protesting out the front of the, and that and then they, they saved one of the chickens from getting killed and I just thought yeah billions of chickens get killed what's the point in saving one but for that one chicken imagine how it would have felt like getting pulled out and taken and, and taken away and just just like looked after and cared for it would have been like what the fuck man one glimmer of hope you know what I mean yeah that was the good and the bad I suppose that 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 one chicken that one fucking chicken but anyway this kid messages me and he looks like he's about like uh, 12 11? I don't know, Sorsha. But I think you're the biggest vegan cunt I know. Please refrain from spreading false facts. Thanks, everyone besides your subscribers. I would like to correct that and say that I am not the biggest vegan cunt. I am the biggest vegan shit cunt. Hope you guys are new, good with this new channel change or whatever. And um, I would like to say fuck you to Sorsha Mareva, and I uh, hope you all have a good day. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and a lot of you may have saw this come through social media already, and I wanted to be the first to announce it on YouTube, but apparently Vegan Gains is now going to be sued by Vince Del Monte. Vince, full natty Vince Del Monte. <laughs> we know that he rides a bicycle. So he doesn't seem to own a home or a car. He doesn't seem to have any meaningful assets. You're gonna spend money and not get anything back for it. So what I'm gonna recommend that you do if you really wanna hurt this kid, I would recommend that you go ahead and sue his mother instead so that he might actually lose the home that he lives in and this kid can be out on the street finally. That's what I would advise you to do, Vince. So make sure that you include his mother in the lawsuit. Howdy, what's this about? Step out of the car, please, sir. What is that? I need you to step out of the car, sir. What is that for? Would you, would you hold still, please, sir? Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to address something that came up in a video I did the other day when I was discussing the lawsuit between Vince DeMont and Vegan Gaines. Now, something a lot of people didn't like, they were with me until I mentioned the thing about suing his mom. Just cut his internet off or make him delete the video or throw him out on the street, in which case then she would never go to court and she would be perfectly fine. However, if she allows him to continue to use her resources to do so, then she could be in trouble. And also, I threw on enough gear that's probably more than you can lift, just because I thought it would be funny to be wearing enough hardware that's more than you could actually lift with all the ammo and the 200 rounds of ammo and everything I'm carrying. Alright guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.
What up guys, my name is Ben Brown. I'm a British daily vlogger and filmmaker. And remember this face, because we'll be talking about him on next week's episode. <laughs> I love you. We're watching Bloody X Factor, aren't we? <laughs> bloody hell. My friend's on it, I've got to watch out. Hmm. <laughs> Selflessness is a nice way to be. It has all these benefits for yourself as well as the planet and other people. Cowspiracy is incredible. I'm so glad that I watched it because it's really been the tipping point for me. I consider myself an environmentalist because I care about the environment, but I cannot possibly say that I'm an environmentalist and eat meat, especially after the education that I've just had. You're going up against people that have massive legal resources, and you have nothing. We're in the middle of the largest mass extinction of species in 65 million years. Let's look at the fundamental problem here. No one wants to talk about it. They're membership organizations. A lot of people just keep their mouths shut because they don't want to. They don't want to be the next one with the bullet to their head. I don't know that I would want to comment on that. In recent years, the oceans have faced some of the most dramatic changes in all of its history. But to really begin understanding how vital the oceans are for life on Earth and how we as humans are impacting it, we have to start looking at some of the smallest organisms that live there. I found some people from Spain. Hello. Hello. They're all eating McDonald's. Little do they know that I'm about to show them a video of a slaughterhouse that they've agreed to watch, okay? Ooh. Ooh. And they're all saying that they're gonna go vegan now, which is pretty fucking impressive. Just like that, just like one like one video. I don't know, he must be a prod prodigy or something. There's a sign on every road, I love him. Hello, my name is Damien. I'm the co-founder of a new festival called Vegan Futures coming to London this November. We've created the festival to bring together best plant-based thinkers and innovators for a day of inspiring talks and workshops. There's a lot of big speakers there, a lot of big names. Tim Sheaf, Kerry McCarthy. There's also going to be yoga. We've got lots of food available and we can't wait for you to enjoy. November for a day of inspiring talks, amazing food and great people. It's something that we never really grow up thinking about, but we have been socially conditioned to believe that animal murder, farm animal murder to be exact, is acceptable. And in reality, there's nothing acceptable about torturing, raping, and murdering a being that doesn't want to be killed. And in my lifetime, the world is going to go vegan. Not the first time the company has run into trouble over its Just Mayo brand. Joining us now from San Francisco is Hampton Creek CEO Josh Tetrick. Like a boss. Also joining us from Washington is Bloomberg News reporter Anna Edney. Uh, what's the argument you're making to keep the name? Uh, the argument we're making is that the standard of identity for mayonnaise, uh, first off, is about mayonnaise, not mayo. 
Uh, you got to contain an egg yolk containing ingredient. You need at least 65% oil. Uh, and we call the product mayo, and we do say that it's egg free. But I do think, Olivia, important to point out, you know, we started the company for a point. We started it to have an impact, to use less water, to use less land, uh, to take out some sodium, to take out cholesterol. Uh, and, and I'm really optimistic the FDA, the good folks there, sort of see the, the deeper purpose of what we're doing besides the fact that we're not actually using the term mayonnaise. And if you ask Unilever 34 days later from uh, the, the moment they filed the lawsuit, they withdrew it. And I think they withdrew it because they saw the, the impact we're having and we're pretty straight on the legal merits too. The uh, New York Times is reporting that some egg companies are worried that if you're making mayonnaise without eggs, that's going to be bad news for their business. Do you think it's the egg companies lobbying against you? Well, I mean, yesterday the Associated Press reported that uh, the USDA's American Egg Board uh, was pretty involved uh, in, a, in a larger campaign uh, to try to discredit our work, uh, paying bloggers uh, who didn't disclose that they were paid by the USDA's American Egg Board, even paying someone to call Whole Foods, our good friends there, to attempt to block the distribution of our product. And I think good on Whole Foods. It's, it's a principle-centered company. They, they didn't uh, have any response to it. They decide to keep us on the shelves and we continue to do really well with them. But I think, again, the larger point, some folks have asked me, well, why not just put dressing underneath it? Why, why do you care so much about mayo? And, and I think the answer is we didn't start this company to be a mayo company. As much as I might like that product, we started the company to say, if you could start over in food, what the hell would that look like? And we think if you start over in food, the thing that's a little bit better for the body, that's a little bit better for the environment, would taste better and we'd be, would be less expensive. And whatever enables us to do that, especially if we can use natural ingredients, we're going to do that. We're going to do it fast. And I wouldn't be surprised if this, is the last, if this isn't the last time that we have some of these issues. But, you know, we, we didn't start this company to play small. We started to have a deeper, uh, a more important impact on our food system. You fuck the system. Like a mouse. Hey, I'm Sean. I'm 27 years old. I'm half Korean. I'm an American citizen. I'm an internet entrepreneur and I'm vegan. This is my YouTube channel. Or at least it used to be until he changed his channel name to Minimal Pro, where he explains the reasons to be vegan effortlessly in this week's number one video, The Trolley Problem with a Twist. You're the best. The trolley problem is a classic thought experiment about complicated human ethics. The standard trolley problem supposes that there are five people tied to a train track and can't escape. A trolley is rapidly approaching that would kill them all. You are standing next to a lever that could divert the trolley down a second track and save all five people. But there's a catch. On the other track, there's one person tied up. So by saving five people, you'd be killing one person instead. What would you do? Most people's first reaction is that they would pull the lever and save as many people as possible. The problem becomes more complicated when it's revealed that the person on the second track is not just a random person, but a close family member. People are suddenly less willing to save five strangers in order to kill one family member. It's quite the ethical dilemma. Well, I've got a new twist on the trolley problem. Imagine on the original track, instead of five people, there's a bunch of animals chickens, a turkey, a pig, a cow, etc. And the train is fast approaching to kill all of them. Would you pull the lever to save them? I know what you're thinking. Who's on the second track? Well, here's the catch. No one. Nothing. There's no person and no animal anywhere on the second track. All I'm asking is, would you pull the lever to save these helpless animals? There'll be no victims or consequences for pulling the lever. What would you do? You'd pull the lever, wouldn't you? Now, what if I told you that this wasn't just some hypothetical lever, that this is a real choice that you can make every day and save real helpless animals? Pulling the lever is called eating a plant-based vegan diet. And if you do it for a year, you save around 200 animal lives, land and sea animals. No victims, no sacrifice, just a choice and a little extra thought and planning. If you don't pull the lever and eat a standard diet, more helpless animals die. Think about it. Give this video a thumbs up if you'll pull the lever in real life, or give it a thumbs down if you'll let things take the standard course. The choice is yours, but the choice is real. Are you feeling an ethical dilemma?
That's all for now, folks. Please do submit your suggestions for next week's top 10 in the comments below or via the Vegan Revolution Twitter account or Facebook. Meanwhile, you can check out my first ever vegan vlog here on how to win YouTube. And until next time... I would like to say fuck you to Sorcia Moreba and uh, hope you all have a good day. Bye.